Right now we're going to move on with a look at what's making headlines in the newspapers here in France. Catherine Viette joining me for that. Hello there. Hello. Now we're going to start off uh, with a man we've been talking about for a couple of days now. Uh, one of France's most talented footballers. He's on the front page of one of the country's best read newspapers, but for all the wrong reasons. Uh, he's been saying he was left off the national team for the Euro tournament because of racism and the, the fallout is just continuing on and right. on, isn't it? As you said, it's a story we've been following. It's a big story here. Now, um, Karim Benzema is a bit of a polarizing figure. Um, he's recently been accused of being involved in a plot to blackmail a teammate over a sex tape. So that investigation is ongoing. He's sort of having some of these legal problems. But um, here in France, the uh, front page of Aujourd'hui en France says it all, a dangerous game. Now, um, the paper is saying that he's maybe possibly using the race card in this situation. Now, um, Benzema maybe possibly. Said, some people are saying he definitely right, some people is. Are saying, <laughs> some of the papers are saying that as well. Now, Benzema says, look, he was left off not because of these legal problems. The investigation is ongoing. He hasn't been found guilty of anything. Mm. He's a superstar for crying out loud. He should be on the team. The reason why he's not on the team is because of his background. While he's French, he's French of Algerian descent, and he's calling racism over this. He's accused the coach, Didier Deschamps, of bowing to the pressure of a racist party in France, a reference there to the popularity of the uh, National Front. And now the country's sports minister has weighed in. He's hit back saying that there is no apartheid in the French team. And certainly racism is a big issue here in France uh, and one that should definitely get some scrutiny. But uh, yeah, a lot of people sort of saying, as you said, is he playing the race card? Uh, we've got the, the sports paper, L'Equipe, very widely read. Uh, it's weighing in as well on the controversy. Right. L'Equipe says, um, well, their headlines is La Tempête, the storm. And now the paper here is starting to worry that, you know, this is building an un healthy atmosphere surrounding the team as they're heading into Euro 2016. You know, they've got games coming up and they don't need to be under the spotlight over this. Um, they're alarmed about the um, impact of Benzema's allegations. And uh, the paper is asking, um, is um, is there racism in French Mm. In, in the French team, and that sports is one of the few areas in the society where people from all backgrounds come together, ethnic, um, economic, and that's something that we should be bearing in mind. All right, so one of the papers, Le Figaro, hasn't got much time for Karim Benzema. What have they been saying? Yeah, Le Figaro is um, kind of judging him rather harshly. He, the paper is accusing of, uh, Benzema of practicing racism in reverse. They're saying that he's blaming everyone else but himself and his actions for the current problem, for the reason why he wasn't selected uh, on the team. And it says that he's been cradled in a culture of excuses, and this is the result. A lot of people have been flagging up the fact that I think it's uh, 13 out of the 23 members of the France squad for Euro 2016 are of non-white origin. Um, and this has been quite a big issue for France, uh, quite proud of its multicultural sort of aspect. But Le Monde newspaper is, is calling this into question. Right. They're saying that um, that it's actually a myth, this idea of um, black, white, beurre, that's the French term for someone of North African descent, that this mix of, of players like that in the 1980-1998 team is a myth. Um, it says that since then, there really have only been a handful of players of North African descent, and that this is thanks to the sports governing body, football's governing body, which um, has not been working to promote racial diversity in the teams, and that this starts from the youth leagues on up. All right, a uh, debate that's going to go on and on, I should think. Uh, we'll move on to another topic that's getting a lot of chatter here in France. Uh, the paper's reporting on a, a controversial interview with the French politician Denis Baupin. His name, perhaps, not very well known, but uh, the, the affair surrounding him is certainly very interesting. Yes, that's right. Um, he is a, a member of the uh, Green Party here. And just to remind our viewers now, three weeks ago, he was um, he was accused of sexual assault and harassment. And this is the first time he's spoken out that he's given an interview sort of stating his position on this. And he says that he sees himself as the seducer. This is his private life. He's playing games with consenting adults. And the paper says, didn't you ever get the impression that maybe you took things too far? And he says, well, maybe I bumbled a bit, but that was not my intention. And, um, you know, once again, these were between consenting adults and it's a game that I play. So he's sort of, you know, doubling down on that he didn't do anything wrong. Very interesting indeed. Thanks so much, Catherine Viette. We'll be back a bit later on looking through the international papers for us as well. Right now, we're going to take a short break here on Live from Paris. See you in a couple of minutes time.